Hey guys, it's Thomas, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a simple vampire crab enclosure so they are happy and don't jump out of the tank and suck your butt. Vampire crabs are a very interesting and relatively new species of freshwater crab that are amphibious and appreciate time on land. They are omnivorous, eating both live and prepared meaty foods along with some plant-based foods. All around, quite hardy and easy to care for. For a small group of three to six crabs, a tank between 10 and 20 gallons is gonna be perfect. You want about 50% land and 50% water. That way, these amphibious little crabs can live their lives however they so choose. No judgments here. I have here a 12 gallon Seapora tank made with ultra awesome high clarity glass, and it's roughly 24 by 12 by 15 inches, which will provide lots of room for both the terrestrial and aquatic sections. To build up the land without it just sloshing over to the wet side of the aquarium, I'm going to use a filter foam block and cut it to size so it fits snugly in the tank. The height of the block needs to be only a little bit taller than the height of the land you are creating for the terrestrial side, since this is going to act as a barrier to keep it in place while still allowing water to pass through it. Once in place, the next step is to create a drainage layer so that the land section doesn't just suck up all the water and turn into a soppy, disgusting pile of mud. Hydro balls work really well for this and also provide a place for beneficial bacteria to grow and help with biological processes like the nitrogen cycle. Make sure to put enough hydro balls to achieve the same depth as the maximum water height that you want in the enclosure so that the water doesn't touch the substrate layer. Next, some screen mesh over the balls will help prevent the substrate from just falling through and, and getting all the way in the bottom and being gross. Now let's get some fancy dirt in there. Reptis oil is ideal since it's soft enough for the crabs to excavate, has good drainage properties, and also works well for live plants, which we may also want to put in there. Now that the land is made, we want to create a comfortable and attractive transition from the water side to the land section. For this, you can use your choice of aquarium safe rocks or stone. This also helps to keep the foam block in place since it's heavy. Once the rock is in place, it's time to add some sand to the aquatic side of the enclosure. Sand is ideal since the crabs prefer this type of substrate. To add even more surface area and also to add some levels and visual barriers to help deter any potential territorial aggression, I'm gonna add some driftwood. And not to mention, it just plain looks awesome. Now with the hardscape done, we can move on to plants. Plants, am I feeling plants? I'm feeling some plants. You don't have to use live plants, but it does make for an attractive enclosure and provides the added benefit of reducing nutrient buildup by using the crab's waste to grow. You can also add mosses, dry or live, to both the land and watery part of the habitat. The crabs will often lay their eggs in moss when they're ready to hatch, so having moss available is ideal. For a more rugged, natural look, you can also add things like leaf litter, cork bark, and even seed pods as finishing touches. Because it's such the natural. Although not always necessary, water movement and heat are ideal, so adding a small heater to keep the temp between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit and a small water pump or internal filter to keep the water a moving will make your vampire crabs comfy and cozy and happy. And there you have it, a rockin' little vampire crabitat. <laughs> See what I did there? Crabitat, because they're crabs in the habitat. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to drop those down in the comment section below or reach out to us on social media like Facebook or Twitter because we can get back to you there too. And don't forget to subscribe because we have new stuff coming out all the time. And as always, keep on tanking with little crabby hands. Crabby tanking, tanking with crabbies. I like crabs. Crabs are my friends. Crabs, crabs are friends, not food. We want to make 50% land and 50% water, so there's and to have in the have or in the bardaha. Detour the crabs from having too much aggression to, uh, for t territories purposes aggression. The aggression of the territories. I'm gonna recommend counseling. They're happy, I can tell. They're smiling.